Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to the NMSU Agricultural Science Center in Clovis, New Mexico. Today, we're going to talk to you a little bit about how we harvest our crops and the machine we use to do that. Harvesting is the process or period of time when farmers gather or pick their crops. Sometimes these are seeds, fruits, beans, or vegetables. Today, we're going to show you how we harvest seeds from a guar plant with a fancy machine called a combine. We use a small plot combine, while most farmers use much larger, more complex combines. Basically, the crop goes in and the seed comes out. But how? This video will dive into the mechanics of our combine here at the Agricultural Science Center and show you just how it works. The entire crop first enters the combine at the header using a cutting table. There are many different types of cutters, but here we are using a sickle bar. This blade moves back and forth really, really fast and cuts everything in its way. Once the crop is cut, the rotary wheel containing a series of brushes pushes the cut crop onto the conveyor belt. As the crop moves along the conveyor belt, a series of threshing drums, or what I like to call the crushers, squash and smash the crop. This crushing process separates the pod from the stem and the seed from the pod. Once the seed is separated, it falls through a series of sieves. Then, a really big fan blows air upwards to move the dry stems and leaves along and out the back of the combine. These excess stems and leaves are called chaff. Many farmers like to incorporate the chaff back into the soil to help replenish it with nutrients for the next year's growth. While the leftover chaff is exiting out the back of the combine, the seeds continue to fall through sieves until they eventually fall into a collection tank. Dr. Songu explains. Basically, the grain moves on the top, so you can either collect it uh, in here if it is a smaller sample. So small sample, so we put the bag there and we collect it. Uh, if we don't want that one, then you change the lever this one, it goes up and it goes up there. That is the big hopper there. Once your seed is all collected, it's then ready to move on to its next location.